I love myself so much. I really value my life. I am born very poor, sixth of the seven siblings. My father was a pedicab driver, and my mother is a plain housewife. In terms of food, clothing, shelter, money, and medicine, that is not a big deal for us. We can stand the day despite the low income of my father, Martin. Because my mother, Angelita, is very resourceful, family-centered, and very thrifty. That we feel no hunger when we were young. We are contented with maize, cassava, banana, tapioca, and many other root crops that we raised in our farm. I am living a simple life, living my motto, time is gold. I really love to sing the song entitled, I am what I am. So meaning, I love myself very so much. I really love how God and my family molded me. I did not prefer to become like this, but I follow only the genes that flows in my veins and nerves. I follow only what is murmured by my heart. I follow only without any inhibitions the design of the day for me to carve the elements of the society so that they will be awakened and accept the truth that the phantom is true and genuine. And colorful as it is, I say, I will capitalize. Challenge? What? Am I sick with this? No. Certainly and definitely, no, I'm not. It is expected that discriminations and bullies will be encountered. When I was little, I was good as such. Gay, but not hurting, because if we will look at the meaning of gay in the dictionary, its meaning is happy. When I was in the College of Engineering, I did not experience bullying. I was even loved by a certain Larina, a BSMT student of CBPC main campus from Pae City. And we love each other. When I was in the College of Education at Sekihor State College, I felt no uncomfortable because I was one of the stars in the college. Take note, a college student used to choreograph the first Miss SEC in 1996 during the first Charter Day, and I did not stop there. In the second year of Charter Day, I was then also the choreographer of the Miss Sekihor State College 1997. So meaning, because of the skills and abilities that we have, students are paying respect. As a teacher, I heard some whispers of the pupils that they have a gay visitors. For me, it is not a problem. It is not hurting because they are telling the truth. Young children are not lying. They are telling what they see. So I am happy with them that they are not blind, they are telling what is really red. And all of these are my stepping stones to become who am I now. Advantage to a gay if he has the skills, talents, and abilities that can be the source of income that can make you happy. Happy all the time. Happiness to your family, friends, and lovers, and this can be capsulized as a genuine happiness of yourself, if people in a society is happy at you as well. For me, it is not a problem. It is a matter of self-understanding, self-disciplining, and self-dignifying. Do not mind the people around you. They are not your food to take. They are just bought noisance. Remember, gays can do what girls can do. 
Gays can do what boys are doing. What I can say to the people who are suffering or struggling of their identity is that they do not find the right time to stay away from their shell. It is just a matter of conditioning. If your parents or siblings cannot accept of who you are, it is hard for them to accept in the very first few days, few weeks, or months. But as the days goes by, they will come to realize and accept the reality that you are shouldering the yoke of suffering. That they will simply say, fly beneath your wings, and your parents will sing the same song of the gigantic movie Titanic, My Heart Will Go On. Go on in understanding you now of what and who you are, because you came from their flesh. They love you so much. Love is painted in the sky. We have to think it positively. That everything is all about love. Love to hate, love to bully, love to discriminate, love to feel down others. See, everything is all about love. I love myself. That is why I am successful. I love people around me. I love my world because I am gay. I am happy and I am what I am. At my age 44, I almost touched the pillar of satisfaction and the magic one of contentment. My advice to the LGBTQ community is that we have to educate ourselves, educate to have a degree and land a good job, educate ourselves to love our job, educate not to be addicted to our vices, educate ourselves not to fall in love with the boys, that until such time, we will be selling our properties for them and we will become pathetic. We will educate ourselves by loving our own selves and be productive. Gays are talented. Share your talents to your community. Share your skills to paint the world red. Mabuhay ang LGBTQ community. God has bestowed the gift of being that is biologically implanted with the freedom of choice has been a wonderful blessing to humanity, which gives his creation the power that with the sole dominance of responsibility, not inequality. People take the choice and part of the choices lead them to both worlds of consequences as authors celebrate while others are condemned, rejected, and discriminated. Discrimination is the battle that a few have to continue fighting on and against close-minded people. Others treat them a laughing stock. They fail to realize that these discriminated people are social beings who are part of their community. They are not crippled nor paralyzed by the effects of discrimination. They rise above this challenge and they want to fulfill their duties and responsibilities as members of the community and country. They communicate themselves in ways which are odd and clear, but let us all remember that what we are, who we are, and how we live are shaped by the people we work with. Let us acknowledge that they are born with their rights as we equally have ours. Let us give them the freedom of their choice as they communicate to us in different ways. They are the people we strongly need in any phase of life because if we observe and see them, their creative and innovative ways are just so amazing and incredible. Let us not put them down. Let us be their support system and allow them to celebrate their unique gifts. Let us not judge nor laugh at them for they are part of the social network of people who are an essential human resource. We have to admit that the bottom line is we are all created equal and our gender is only our identity as to what social functions we have responsibly do and fulfill. The reality is so harsh and unacceptable. These people who are discriminated, disrespected, bullied and rejected are judged by how they look and how they dress up. It is so sad that these are unaccepted and unloved. It is not their fault, it is ours and our loss too. We need people who have the passion and commitment to succeed 
and we see them and these people we fail to acknowledge and appreciate. They're the members of the LGBTQ community. Now, in this time of pandemic, the nation can rise above this, not by gender identity, but by the power of one. Let discrimination die a natural death and fill our hearts with openness, camaraderie, and respect among our people as we acknowledge equality and let this reign on the Philippine land. No race, no culture, no gender can topple the heights of a resilient and united community. Let us be one and work as one, regardless of gender and background. Please know that every human being is a gift and blessing to humanity. Give him or her the chance to prove, work, and share with you. Let us be aware that without them, life can be so empty and meaningless. So welcome them into the your fold. Let this be us. Awesome.